This is section 211, Transformation of Parent Graphs, and we're going to look at transforming a parabola. So we're going to need to know what the parent graph of a parabola is and the parameters of a function to be able to do this. Now a theme that you're going to see in a majority of my lessons, if I have it in blue, that's something that you should 100% write down. That should be in your notes. If you see something in gold, we should turn that into a flashcard because it's going to be very, very important for us. And it's something that needs to be memorized. Just like if you look at the color blue and you know this is blue, it's because you have it memorized. We have to have these things memorized. They're just statement of facts that have to be known. So here's the parent graph of a parabola. It is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Now there are three different parameters within this function. And we kind of examined that a little bit in chapter one. We looked at h as a parameter. But there are going to be three parameters. A affects the vertical stretching and shrinking. And I know that's kind of weird. We're going to look at that a little bit down the line, so baby steps. But imagine it kind of forces our graph to get more narrow or it looks like it gets squeezed. And then if it's ever negative, it means that it reflects off the, or reflects over the x-axis. Now, like I said, we're gonna get to that for right now. Just, we should know it, but what it looks like, we're gonna get there. But the two main ones that we need to know now, the first is gonna be the horizontal shift. And if you look at our function here, see how there's a negative inside of our function? So that means that we're always gonna to have to do the opposite of it because within the formula itself, there's going to be a negative. And so H is our horizontal shift, which means moving left and right. And then K is our vertical shift. If you notice it's plus, which means we do the same, that's gonna shift our graph up or down. Gold, we should know these as in flashcards. You should make these into flashcards to study them and memorize them. Now here's the parent graph of our parabola, Y equals X squared, a key thing about this is it starts at zero zero that's our vertex and then it has that shape but I'm pretty certain we already know what that shape is and then like I said that's the standard form of our function and as it has an a as it has an H and as it has a K that's gonna shift our graph up and down and move it so let's examine the horizontal shift so if I wanted to shift it three spaces to the right that basically means my H is going to be three. And so if our formula, remember it's X minus H squared plus K. If our formula says X minus H, and I said it's my H is three, so that's going to be X minus three. Now I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, wait, but three is positive. Why? Why is it a minus here? Three is positive. Remember the formula X minus H. Minus means the opposite. So if it's moving three spaces to the right, positive three, what's the opposite of positive three? Negative three. And so this is what our graph is gonna look like. Now notice this starting position zero, zero, just shifted over three spaces. The rest looks the same. What if I wanted to shift it two spaces to the left? Okay, so that, that means that my H is negative two. Well, the opposite of a negative two is positive two. And so it's starting here at zero, zero. It's gonna shift over two spaces this way. And so I get that function there. And so that's how we can visualize it. Now let's look at the vertical shift. So that's our K. So if I wanted to shift it up one space, well, that's gonna be a plus one. So this entire graph is gonna move up one space. So everything shifted. Normally it started at zero, zero, it shifted up one space. Shift down four spaces. So it normally starts at zero, zero. The entire shape of the graph is gonna move down four spaces. And so my K is minus four, and that moved down four spaces. Now we can put these two concepts together. So if I wanted to shift it to the right and up one, so three to the right and up one, so that means that it's going to be x minus 3 squared plus 1. So let's look at our starting position here. That's going to move over three spaces. 
and then up one. And so that's where it ended up at, three, one. If I wanted to shift it two to the left, left is negative, but we have to do the opposite. So that's why it's gonna say x plus two and down four plus k is to do the same. So that's why it's minus four. So this graph here, it's gonna shift over two and down four. And so that's where the graph is gonna end up. Now, in addition to these translations, like I said, we're gonna have this reflection and we're gonna spend more time on this later, but I just kind of wanted to introduce it right now. If your A is ever negative, we call that a reflection about the x-axis. And so my A is positive, that's why it's facing upward. If your A is negative, that means this is going to flip. And so instead of it going up one, it goes down one. Instead of going up four, it's gonna go down four. And so it reflects over the x-axis. And so a negative, and if your A is negative, if there's a negative in front of your function, that means reflection over the x-axis. And so the vertical shrinking, like I said, we're gonna go into it a little bit more in depth later, but I just kinda wanted to show you guys. If you imagine, and it's kinda hard to look at it this way, but if what if this was like a rubber band and you pulled on the function so you pulled, and if you pulled on this, if your A is greater than one, so that's what I have here, if my A is greater than one, then what's gonna happen is we call that a vertical stretch. And then if my A is between zero and one, we're gonna call that a vertical shrink. And you see how it got wider? If you imagine on that graph, you push on it and it gets wider. But I know we're probably like, wait, that's kind of confusing. That's okay. I'm just introducing it right now. We don't need to like super focus on it. So let's look at this. How do we go through and practice this? So I need to look at this. It's quadratic, so I know it's gonna be a parabola. I know that it's gonna, because of this, it's gonna shift over two spaces. Because of this, it's gonna shift up three spaces. So normally it starts at zero, zero, but it's gonna shift over two spaces and up three. And so from there, I can go through and I can draw my parabola. Wow, it's hard to connect it on this computer. There we go, a little bit neater. Let's look at another one. So that negative means reflection over the x, so I know it's gonna go down. It's still a parabola because of that square. Remember, we have to do the opposite, so it's gonna go over three, and that's gonna go down four. So over three, one, two, three, down four, one, two, three, four, and then it's gonna go down. And that's my value. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned about the standard form or the graphing form of a parabola and the different parameters that can exist in our parent functions. So what are the different parameters? We have an H, which is the horizontal shift. We have a K, which is the vertical shift. And then our A is the vertical stretching and shrinking. And we have to think of that as like we're pushing or pulling on the function. And then what is the vertex of a standard form quadratic equation? H, K. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.